Prophetic Word for 2019, Your Book of Life is Opening. Doug Addison, Los Angeles, California. This is the year of the Lord's favor for you. No matter when you read or listen to this message, you can receive this prophetic word from the Lord because He is outside of the confines of time and space. What is coming this year? And as he was praying, heaven was opened and the Holy Spirit descended on him in bodily form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my son, whom I love, with you I am well pleased. Now Jesus himself was about thirty years old when he began his ministry. Luke 3 colon 21 23 Nif. I heard the Lord say that he is moving right now to bring about chapters 3 and 4 of the Gospel of Luke, where Jesus was baptized and received the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. The Father spoke a message of love to Jesus. He heard the Father confirm what he was about to do. Get ready for the Lord to open the heavens over you and to receive new power from the Holy Spirit. The Lord is going to speak to you about your identity, your calling, and his unending love for you. You are going to receive new revelation and power. God is going to open your book like he did with Jesus and reveal your assignment for this season. God is moving on millennials. Though we can expect God to move on everyone, there is going to be a special group that the Lord is going to begin to awaken this year. Just as Jesus was 30 years old when he began his ministry, so the Lord is awakening millennials, those who are in their 30s and considered millennials. We are going to see those who have not been interested in the Lord suddenly awaken and find their purpose. Wilderness times are ending. Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, left the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, where for forty days he was tempted by the devil. Luke 4 to 1 to Nif. Right after Jesus received power from heaven, he went through a short wilderness time. Wilderness and testing times help strengthen and prepare us to walk in greater intimacy and authority. Many of us have already been in a wilderness time. Expect to come out of the dark night of the soul and into God's bright light that is going to heal and restore many areas of your life. Your book is opening. The Spirit of the Lord is on me, because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Luke 4 colon 18 19 Nif. If you look at Luke 3 22 to 4 21 in your Bible, you will see the process the Lord is calling us into this year. One of the first things that Jesus spoke publicly was the fulfillment of this prophecy from Isaiah 61. You might say this was Jesus' mission statement or life purpose. These were his guiding Bible verses and spoke of who he was and what he was called to do. God is empowering you to do this, as well. God has sent you to proclaim good news, even if you are not a preacher. He has sent you to proclaim freedom for people who are imprisoned in pain or sickness. He has sent you to help people who are spiritually or physically blind. He has sent you to set the oppressed free. Watch for your book or Bible verses of purpose to be revealed to you in a greater way this year. Ask God to speak to you. In 1988, I came out of the occult and back to the Lord. I was about 30 years old, and it was 30 years ago as I write this. I had just been filled with the Holy Spirit, and the first time I heard the Lord speak directly to me was in Isaiah 61. These same words that Jesus used in Luke 4 colon 18 19 have been my life's calling ever since. As I studied Luke 3 and 4, I asked the Lord to speak to me and show me something personal from these passages. He said to look at Luke 3 28 where it mentions the son of Adi. Wow! That is my name, Addison, hidden in the genealogy of Jesus Christ. You can ask the Lord to speak to you in this way. I am praying that the Lord will speak to you about your calling. If you don't hear anything, you can always use the one I use, and Jesus used, from Isaiah 61 to 1 and Luke 4 18, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me. Angels of Service Are not all angels ministering spirits sent to serve those who will inherit salvation? Hebrews 1 14 Nif. This year God is assigning angels to you personally and also to churches, businesses and cities. Watch for the presence of angels. Understand that you don't have to see an angel to know they are there. 
God is assigning angels who will help you fulfill your calling and operate in the new things coming this year and the years to come. Photo via Pexels The Watch and Timing of the Lord I will stand at my watch and station myself on the ramparts, I will look to see what he will say to me. Habakkuk 2 to 1 Nif. The gift of the watch of the Lord prophetic intercessors and watchers on the walls of the Lord, are going to be a critical part of what God is doing this year. The Lord is going to raise up prophetic intercession groups that will get the plans of the enemy in advance and stop attacks, weather and disasters. From Issachar, men who understood the times and knew what Israel should do. 1 Chronicles 12 32. The Lord is also raising up the Issachar anointing upon men and women this year. This is the ability to understand the times and the seasons and get the plans of the Lord on how to respond. We must get the wisdom of the Lord, as the wisdom of man and this world will not work this year. It will be important to open the door and be revived by the Lord's spirit of wisdom and understanding into what is happening. Get your hopes up. God is moving. To subscribe to the Elijah List subscribe here. Blessings. Doug Addison. In Light Connection. Email, respond at dougaddison.com. Website, www.dougaddison.com.